Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel, SOS. Um, we are starting a brand new playthrough of a highly anticipated game, at least for me, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I, I know on my channel I don't have a Breath of the Wild playthrough, and um, my apologies. Uh, maybe I'll put one up if I do record a full playthrough later on. But uh, I have played through the game on my own time. So, um, you know, I'm coming into this Tears of the Kingdom kind of new. I have played a little bit just to familiarize myself again. Breath of the Wild has been out a long time. Um, but I'm excited to play through. I don't know any, I don't know much about the story, I should say. I know a little bit about the beginning. Like I did the tutorial section and... I think I know who the antagonist is for the most part, but most of the story I'm completely clueless. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to get going. I didn't, uh, there's no menu when you first start, it goes right into the intro cutscenes. Didn't want you guys to miss any of that. So, <laughs> excuse me, I paused right here. Um, but let's get it. Hope you enjoy. Um, I will try to stream future episodes. This one's just being recorded and put up on YouTube. I just want to get through beginning section it'll be a short kind of intro episode um but if you enjoy it please leave a like subscribe uh catch me on twitch streaming it live uh same name for the channel and uh yeah let's get it may hear a little bit of background noise. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to get the audio set up still for this uh, capture. But it's very low. Hardly noticeable. This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. hairstyle for Zelda it looks like and for Link we've been descending for a while now these tunnels are deeper than I thought what could be down here ah in case you didn't know get too far people have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us we'll keep going with it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle we do not know what waits below so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Hmm. Appreciate your unwavering trust. Can't do anything with the inventory yet. Oops. She's not like, why are you whistling? Don't seem to have a parrot lighter. So that noise was. Hmm. Ever since the end of the calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. I could never imagine anything like these tunnels were hiding here. Huh? Must be careful. I don't think I'll read every dialogue subtitle, but 
you know, crucial story ones that helps for those that can't quite read yet. Look here, Link. These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something's written. Are these ruins from the Zonai? Sounds like they're setting up a new ancient race. These carvings. I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. Are said to have lived long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many books tell us about the Zona, but none gives us the full picture. Much is still unknown. ears. How did the ruins in the sky end up here beneath the castle? Looks like the path goes even deeper. Let's continue on. Couple keys. Not, hurt. Not a problem. Are you Link? The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. That my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. So she is Zonai? These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the demon king. And a fierce battle against him. Boy, this is ominous music. If the creature depicted here really does represent the demon king, then... This mural must be the Great War recorded in the royal histories. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Link, this is a huge discovery. All right, then. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Oh, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Oh. 
Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. Hmm. Let's go towards the gloom. Thinking for this first episode, we'll get through this uh, intro sequence. I don't know how far we'll get in the next section, but just wanted to get this uh, under our belts as we start this new playthrough. Pretty epic start so far. You got your master sword, you got all your hearts and stamina. Is Zelda coming, or am I just going way too fast? Okay. Come on. Yikes. Okay. What is this place? Let's continue, but we must be extremely careful. Some damage. The sword that seals the darkness. The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Zelda. You who carries that fragile sword. A link. Raru placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? Quite a bit of power to do that. Where's he going?
Wow. Okay. Yeah, so the setup in this game, way more epic and foreboding than in Breath of the Wild, I will say. That would be confusing. Oh, Link, finally you wake. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. When? Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. There's my sword. I just like to look around. Guess I miss anything. Sad. Decayed Master Sword. Yep, makes sense. Oh, cool. Seems similar to shrines. Oh, I activated something. the right button. There we go. The pretty dive animation. of armor. Archaic leg wear. Seems customary to get a piece of clothing before you leave your starting spot. Whoa. Yeah, so this begins our journey. Actually, I wonder if you can climb this. No. I don't want you climbing right now. Alright, yep, so start of a new journey. Let's, uh, 
jump? Beautiful as this is, my only gripe is. Oh wow, the dragon over there. My only gripe is. Why 30 frames? But, you know, console limitations, I guess. branches does a bit more damage than the sword look around for materials This is not obvious. It's usually a good way to get some good early game resources. So, I will admit, <clears throat> I have played through the Great Sky Islands introduction tutorial, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I kind of like flew through it. So. I might find some new things I haven't seen before. Oh, I don't have a bow. Ah. Sky shrooms. I'm not finding a lot of stuff, but some things to get me going. This area above here is pretty easily accessible, so I have to imagine they wanted me to go up here. More sky shrooms rounded out. Excellent. Um. Sparkles of things you can pick up. It's hard in this environment. It's just a lot of detail, and it's just hard to see what I'm meant to see. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take an apple. All right, dude, bring it on. Oh, okay. Horn, nice. Zone I charge. Oh, I didn't read those descriptions. Feel free to pause and reread if you were desperate to see. Ah, oh, okay. Wooden stick. It's different from the tree branch. I'll hang on to that. Okay. 
in good shape, except for that I uh, had no idea how to counter that guy's attack. What's this? Dang, he's tall. Waited for you, Link. Zelda left something for you in my care. Ah, the Pura Pad. It's an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. Looks a lot like a switch. Funny enough. It's a Zelda's device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. I have now passed it to you from Zelda. Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. Okay, message delivered. We are in the Garden of Time. And that is the Temple of Time. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. Well, imagine I have to go put my hand on that thing. Power source for constructs and other devices. Strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. The Zonai charge. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Oops. Might as well use this for like these things. Oh wow. Low on energy already. I am new here. Do you intend to use that as a weapon against the soldier contracts? Yeah. Be given orders to protect the land. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. Maintain proper distance and target your opponents. Lock on. Yes, very nice. Target on me if you want, but don't actually attack. Um, yeah. What's this? Not sure if there's anything else to do around here, but this is suggesting I jump. So I shall. I was gonna try to get that thing. Too fast for me. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I can't anticipate the stupid swing. How bad am I? horns and a zone I charge. Maybe I shouldn't try to anticipate it, just <laughs> swing at him. Um, there's a lot of tree branches around here. More sky shrooms. Okay, I thought 
these might have been boxes of something cool, but no. Probably not going to go into the snow area. That's probably bad for my health. I'm going to check something very quickly in the settings. I don't like aiming with motion controls, to be honest. Oh. I didn't know you could do that. Anyway, I prefer a high sensitivity camera. Ooh. Spicy pepper. Raise body temperature and help you withstand the cold. That's good. Ah, so I could go right up in the cold area if I only had some place to cook it. Sword gone? Alright. Okay, so... Obvious route is to go to this flashing yellow circle. Fight some more. Nice little critical because the weapon breaking. There we go. I don't have to get fancy. Um, should we cook something? See what that makes. Spicy simmered fruit, three minute cold resistance. Cool. Um, I'm going to try two peppers and an apple. Save a couple apples for five minutes, 30 seconds. Cold resistance. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I'll save a couple apples for just, you know, restoring quarter bits of health or whatever. Oh, more spicy peppers. Yeah, let's make another one of these. What if I just make three of them? Let's get crazy. Spicy sauteed peppers for 7 minutes 30 seconds. Awesome. Alright, that's it for now. I got some dishes to work with. You take it. Oops. Alright, well, I use all my dinky tree branches. Ooh, uh, I guess I'm fighting those guys too. Ow. 
Assume like a, sh a spear. <sighs> Already. Um. Need it to restore health. I don't want to waste my cold resistance yet. There we go. Now there's plenty of these things around here, so that's good. There we go. Took some of that raw meat up. We lured in by the smells. Roasted by the fire. Mmm. Tastier and more nutritious. Uh, among my tasks to explain everything to first time visitors. You may have questions. The construct can't answer them. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I don't eat. Our creators roast the ingredients to enhance their value. Alright. They want me to roast some ingredients by the fire. Um... There we go. Baked apple. What about the meat? Can I do that with the meat? I assume so. It probably takes longer. Seared steak. Nice, nice. Yeah, so I'll save some. I probably should do it with the sky shrooms. But I'll save the meat for cooking. Just bake a bunch of these. There. Alright. Moving on. Assuming this is where I'm supposed to be going. Okay. Yeah, I assumed that that would work. It's like the last game. Just using the pure pet. Oh no! <sighs> All right. Hopefully, I can get back over there. That was drowning. Lily pads, okay. All right, you gotta be more go. Oh. Look at that. Majestic. Bring it. I pushed the button. Give me that. Alright, now I got a shield. No more of this getting smacked. Alright, I'll go over there in a second. Just kind of looking over here. That guy's got a bow. I don't want that. Alright. We'll get there. Just a quick top off on the health. Mm-hmm. Not 
working. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Ooh, Raru. Source of the right arm. That's what he's best known for. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. I noticed. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Shrines. Yes, I am sure they are the key. Okay, shrines it is. I'm guessing that's the first one I'm supposed to go to, too. said you need to revitalize the arm, visit the island shrines. Okay. Easy peasy. And there's the first one. Ah, oh, don't do that. Broke my nice sword. That's, that's fantastic. Okay, not sure what to do with this. All right, let's go finish him. Um, yeah, it's already almost broken anyway. See if I can do this right this time. There we go. Alright, this looks easy enough. Ooh. Rush room. Cook it before eating to increase movement speed. That's good. Oh, I actually have to climb here. Okay. that. More climbing. Okay. First shrine. Hmm. Opens right up in the side of the rock. Fancy. I'll be skipping in the future most of these uh, 
transition animations in and out of shrines and whatnot. Oh. So you made it here. It's, this is the Shrine of Light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. This light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Mm -hmm. Extend your hand. Ultra hand, grab and move objects, rotate them and stick them to other objects. Mm. Neat. Leah allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. You'll be able to build a great number of things, anything you can imagine. Mm. Use it and receive the blessing from this shrine. Will do. Ability to create. So this is like the Magnesis, except with everything. Okay. Baker Bridge. Look around for the secret chat. Oh, there it is. There we go. There's always a chest hanging around in these. Amber. Fossilized resin with caramelesque sheen. Valued as a component in decorations and crafting. I wonder if I'm gonna need one of Oh okay, this looks familiar to Oh look that hook's attached. <laughs> Seems simple enough. Look, it's like they have an example up there. You just need a hook. Pretty much the same thing. And then just stick it on there and jump on. Here we go. You have done well to reach this place. Offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Evil! Mermaid man. Oh, cool. Just absorb it. Oh, cool. Like I'm losing some of the gloom. Light of blessings. Crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil. Purifies with radiance. Very nice. Obviously, I'll be exchanging those for stamina or heart. That's it. Alrighty. Nope, oh, that's Raru. Oh. Did very well. And you've restored an ability. Wonderful. 
If you visit two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Mm. You may want to mark them in the distance with pins, then you'll never lose track of where they are. Your pad offers you the scope. Yep, I already used the scope. I'm all about that. Oh, I see one there to the left. That one's pretty high up there. And then... Any others around here? That's the dragon. Already got that one, yeah. Um, oh, right there. You know, now that I've disabled the motion controls, uh, I keep trying to use them. Naturally. Alright. Uh oh. That was close. Seems like they want me to cross. For some reason. For this apple. That's why. It's not worth an apple, that's for sure. Um, gotta be some reason why they wanted me to cross. Guess not. All right. Guess I'll get these, uh, sky shrooms. Maybe these fireflies, too. Sunset firefly. When cooked with monster parts, it causes it to glow. That uh, will allow... Okay, you move more quickly. I read that very poorly, but I think you get the gist. It is Raru again. Boy, this guy's everywhere. Still at work, even now. We created the contracts to assist. All of us were fond of them. I didn't think they would continue to carry out their tasks. Mm. The labor no longer serves a purpose, yet they perform it still. Disquieting to me. Well, I'd say fix it, but... Who's on I charge? Bundle of wood, make a campfire. That's nice to have. <sighs> well, I was done. This work? Awesome. What's this over here? An axe. Cut down some trees. I guess that's what you're supposed to do here, right? Make a bridge out of these trees. Um, get rid of these, one of these. No, I was gonna... Okay. Um, well, there's a bunch of logs over here. Let's try to go across there first. Big bridge. Is it big enough? <laughs> Not quite. Alright. Let's get 
couple more. Ooh, Korok frond. Medicinal value. Or attached to a stick and use it as a fan. Alright. Let's bring this over there. I'm scaring the pants off of this construct. Gotta tell me this is long enough. Oh yeah. Rope across here. Oh, 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 oh. More Zonai charge. More amber. More fireflies that I can't catch. this to grab it? No. Oh, good thing I have this giant bridge. It scares me going fast across this. What? I was mashing the A button. Oh, ancient arowana. Am I even like remotely going in the direction of? Oh, another bow. Just one meat? I'm just kind of exploring right now. Work with these two. Nice. Seems like there's always arrows in there. Those things. Nice. More meat. Not really sure of the direction that I'm going or supposed to be going. to go to get to this what I assume it'll be the next shrine love this view of the temple I always take a moment to appreciate the garden of quiet the garden of time was quiet the only sound to be heard was the time bell the whole place changed its changed at its chime fireflies mm. glorious times kind of skimming not really Story crucial information. Aha! There's the shrine. Don't you attack me, pal. I'm gonna save the axe. Don't seem to need it just yet. is what I'm supposed to do with these. I kind 
I feel like that's close enough, but I don't want to chance it. Okay, why did they want me to go up here? Ooh, another bow. Well worth it. Zone I charge. way down here or maybe not. Oof. Wasn't sure about that jump. What's this? Stand bulb. Increases endurance. Cook it to restore stamina. Okay. That guy out of the way. Yeah, I nailed it that time. go. Not too shabby. Rusty shield. Good. like to have some shield options. Um. Go to that guy. Need another wooden stick, I guess. Opal. Mesmerizing iridescence. Like a seashell. Contains the power of water. This is well worth doing, getting all these arrows. No idea how many I have at this point. I've got four bows, 51 arrows. I am cruising. What's that? Gotta go check that out. Need to reach my friend. Where's my friend? You can see me? I'm a Korok, children of the forest. Traveling with my friend, but we got separated. Oh, I'd say so. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I'm so tired. Oh. Oops, the Mela Shroom. Cook it to release stamina restoration properties. Good, good, good. Alright, so I s assume I'm going to be using this. Maybe making some sort of platform for that to go on. Mm. All right, put down this tree. I, mean, I could do it with two, probably, but. I'd rather have, like, a middle thing to put this on. Okay, and then what? Catch this guy? Makes sense. The whole thing... ...on here. And go for a ride. Let's 
stick. There's my friend. I made it, thanks to you. Reunited at last. Thank you. Give you something, but here's all I have. Two Korok seeds. So, probably the same scenario. I'm going to be exchanging those for inventory slots with Hess 2. More stuff. Why that didn't break. I might end up putting motion controls back on just so like the. I mean, I hate it for combat, like sniping with bows, but just for the everyday ultra hand usage. I relied on it more than I thought I did. Alright. So I guess we can take this and just ride it down this way now. Oh, wait for me. Oh. Should I have taken a sail? I'm now thinking maybe I wanted to use a sail. Bat from a large tree. Heavy end does have a bit of power behind it. Um. I don't need so many wooden sticks. Sail. Stop. Ooh, what's this guy? No, I'm not trying to use this right now. Choo choo jelly. It's unusable in this state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. Um, do I want a two-handed axe? Instead of one of these one-handed axes, yeah. Okay. Obviously they want me to build a sail boat of some kind. I got some sails. Got two logs. Let's make it happen. fish in there. Okay. Grab a few. Well, let's go sailing. Simple. 
I think the plan... Uh... Yeah, I think the plan will be to wrap up this shrine and the surrounding area. Um, we're really far from the dock. That's not really ideal. Whatever, I can swim from here. So yeah, wrap up the shrine and just kind of explore this surrounding area. And then call it for this episode. Just as a nice little intro. Uh, kind of went a little too aggressive on that guy. Alright, nothing over here of any note. Tastes better when cooked, yeah, obviously. Don't eat that cold. It's got salmonella. There's more guys down there. Let's do the shrine first. In Isa Shrine. Here, extend your right hand. Can't seem to skip this animation, it's very similar to the last one. Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but it will destroy whatever has been attached. Mm. This is Fuse. It allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Why not pick up that sword and you then fuse a nearby object to it? Mm. Use Fuse and receive a blessing from the shrine. You got it, dude. Rusty Claymore. Um... Okay. And then... Yeah, easy peasy. I bet I can break these. Yeah. Oh, there's a chest up on that one. Okay. Five arrows. Nice to have. Oh, I see what's going on here. Fire fruit. Generates heat when struck. Cook correctly, it can improve blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack power in high temperatures. But I'm pretty sure I'll be using fuse to put these on the arrows. Yep. 
Okay, so the process is hold that, push up, and then select a material. Fire. There, fire arrows. Small key. That's important. I assume. Love how they leave these torches here, like in case you couldn't figure it out with all of those fire fruit. You can always do that. Anyway. Done already. Oh, you confused too. I'm so impressed. Ow. All right, what do we get here? Maybe we can take one of these. Use the spikes. Spiky club? Okay. Ooh. There. Construct bow. Captain Construct Horn. Okay, so these you fuse to weapons for attack power. Okay, let me get rid of this bow. Pick up that one. I don't care about the rock hammer, I don't think, or these sticks. That's it. Oh, she wrote. Done well, yes. Thank you. Yeah, just one more. Looks like I'm kind of doing a circle. Like, I went up to the top, to the temple, and then I'm going down counterclockwise. Oh, yes. I came because there's something I failed to give you. Please take it. Ah. Holding out on me. Energy cell. Gift from the Zonai Contract. Designed to be worn on a belt. It can power Zonai devices. It's required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I can't demonstrate because there are no Zonai devices. I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use this. Hope it's useful to you. Alright, I'll head towards the cave. Mm. Okay. Messed up those shots a little bit. Helpful. Oh, chest over there. I imagine I still have bullet time, right? What the 
heck does that guy have? Board Guster. Okay, that doesn't seem particularly useful. Pick up another shield. Should I cook? Yeah, I should probably cook some stuff. Couple meat skewers, probably. Just to have some healing things. Usually when you find a... Ooh. Let's cook one of those up. Yeah, usually when you find a cooking pot, just take advantage of it. that energizing mushroom skewer gives me some of my stamina wheel not really much maybe i should have saved that try this one stam bulb so i feel some stamina yeah so it do the same thing um i should save those and just mix them with a bunch of like kind things all right i got a lot of food going Oh, that's good. I got plenty of um, cold resistance. But that's 13, 16 minutes altogether. Plenty. Ooh. Yep. We're going to keep that. Nice. Yeah, I keep trying to use my uh, paraglider that I don't have. Okay. Into the cave. Bright bloom seed, a seed that's often found in caves. When struck, it will take root and bloom, giving off faint light. not use this nice spiky club. Keys eyeball. Attach one to an arrow to grant homing quality. Neat. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with this hat. Oh, okay. This is like, can I attach them both? Flint. This fire starter breaks after one use, but create long-lasting flame. What the heck is that? Thing? Ah! Google <laughs> gem. Strange crystal left by booble frogs. The blue glow may entice you to collect even more. I guess so. Ooh, a giant bright bloom seed. When struck, it will take root and bloom. Large amount of light. Okay, yeah. That's just a bigger, better version. Fire? Okay. Flint and amber. More flint, amber. Amber flint. And my hammer is dying. Alright. Just wanted to see if that still worked. Neat. Oh, okay. We're already out of the cave. Okay. 
archaic tunic. Got some holes, but the soft cloth feels good to the touch. Nice. Another armor point. Some more Raru action. What's up, guy? Stewards were the first to be built, and then we craft others for different roles, culinary, maker constructs. We find all sorts of them still active. Some so skilled with their speci specialities that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them. Take time to talk to them. They can teach you many things. Yeah. Um. Oops. Disappointing. Okay. Seventy one arrows. That's very good. Giraffes for crossing are broken. Transportation is on hold. This is ordinarily where we send resources across river. Zona devices are undamaged. Necessities around here. Green thing is a Zonai device. It's a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai devices for multitude multitudinous purposes. Using Zonai devices does require energy. Energy cell will be necessary, which I have. That is a relief, but perhaps a refresher explanation is in order. It stores the energy required to use Zonai devices. Energy will replenish while devices are not in use. Capacity is not unlimited. Use wisely. You might run out. Pardon the long explanation. It does not change our need for a raft. They are useful. Think creatively, and you'll find many ways to employ them. So he said raft about 400 times, so I'm guessing they need a raft. Take these all the way up, probably. I don't really see why not. Get up there. Wow, that was close. Okay. Oops. Grab that real quick. Okay. Is there a purpose? For me to be up here. Burn. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm not has to, but I can see you. 
I didn't know someone like you could see children in the forest. If you see Hestu, return this to me. Neat. My friends are hiding in lots of different places. Keep an eye out. <laughs> you don't mind if I drop that right to your face, do you? Oh, I almost got that firefly. I should have. Alright. Gotta stay focused. Where did I come from here? I... Yeah. I'm going the wrong way. Sorry. Such a sad noise. chest over there that I want to get. If I jump down here, I'm not getting back across. So if I move this down, can I go any lower? Okay, well, maybe I messed that up. Just move this one lower. Um, wow. Okay. This guy seems particularly difficult. Let's grab some food, I guess. And what? A little mushroom? No problem after all. Thick stick broadsword. Definitely want another construct though. Okay, but how do I get this chest? I could cut down some trees. What's this? Acorn. Add one to a meal for nutty seasoning. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll cut down a couple of trees and make a bridge. trees around here to do it. Grab that, it's basically right above my head. Uh, use my bridge.
No. Move it away. Oh no, don't lose it. Boy, I've uh got myself in a bit of a predicament. Um climb? I can. Shoot, I don't know. This is quite a climb. I do have those salmon restoring things. Speaking of, I probably should keep an eye on the stamina. I think it'll be more efficient if I go underneath this thing. Alright, well, looks like I made it across at least. Now, I could try to go up there, but I'll just... I'll just go the intended path for now. Soon, it has something to do with these. Why? Just why? Just stop. 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 Why can't you get on your little boat? <sighs> okay. I gotta probably hit this to activate it or something. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Rush room over there. Pretty easy. Don't know if I'm gonna use that again. Flint. These extra resources, of course. Resources, a resource, of course. What's this guy want? Are you going this direction? The mountain path is rugged, and you must take environment into account. I've developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. All right. Fire is a crucial tool. Fire can be used to cook or warm yourself. How do I start a fire? Use flint as a fire starter. Next to a bundle of wood. Strike it with a metallic or stony weapon. Boom, fire. I'm paraphrasing. There are other methods, but it's best to internalize the basics first. What about cooking? I'm gonna skip. I know how to cook. We've done that already. Hold stuff in your hands. Stand over the lit cooking pot and you cook all right so this looks like the path to get to the next oops
choo choo jelly. Yes, so uh, this looks like the path up to the third and final shrine. Leave. Oh, there's a cave system here. Let's get these guys in the chest and then we'll call it for the day. Boom. Boom. That guy's the hard one, so let's uh, hit him a bunch of times if we can. Oh, look at him. Spiky Club. That's everybody. That wasn't so difficult. Alright. Yeah, let's drop another one of these. Chest, we'll get this stuff. Eighty six arrows, that's crazy. I'm never going to run out of arrows. Opal. over here, neato. Alright. I think this is a good place to call it. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying the beginning. I hope you are excited for the rest of these episodes. And, uh, yeah. I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.